who who showed up? My husband. Okay. What's your husband's name? Josh Malaki. Huh? Josh Malaki. Josh is in APD, Josh. Alrighty, so what happened? In fact, let's. Do you need EMS to come out and check you out? I'm not sure how do I look. Okay. I'm really, my head is really sore and it's getting swollen in multiple places. David 635, go ahead and send me 4355 and have them come west of the dog park. <coughs> so, what happened? Uh, someone ran down the hill. I was sitting here exercising and just... 30 year old me. male, uh, multiple blows to the head, uh, swelling on the side of the face. He is conscious and breathing. Uh, just came down and jumped to me and started hitting me in the head. Do you know him? Up. Yeah. Okay. And from what I understand, this is his wife? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, you had any beef with him? Any issues? Uh, I think it's been an ongoing issue, but nothing physical until now. Okay. You want to press charges? No. No? Okay. Well, we're going to have EMS. Unless I'm really fucking hurt. Well, I mean, you're, you're <laughs> pretty red and you got a lot of bumps and bruises around your head. And I think he took my car key, because I don't know, it was in my pocket, and I don't know where the hell it is now, so okay. I can't even... Is it just wait. the key? It's a, it's a black fob for the okay. mobile right there. So it's, yeah, it's probably... It was like right here, and it was in my pocket, and then he either took it or kicked it or threw it. These people jumped over the fence yeah. to try to get him away. Um, which one's your vehicle? The white car. Okay, let's go up to the vehicle, so EMS can come check you out. And then we'll finish the rest of this. Do you have your driver's license on it's you? In my or is car. In your my car. Phone is okay. In there. What I'll do is, um, once I'm done talking with. Tempo, thank you. Um, yeah, we'll have you sit up by your car. I'll come up there as well and I'll have a chat with her as well. And then I'll see if I can walk around and see if I can find it. Yeah, we looked for a good 10 minutes and I don't see it. Okay. Alrighty, so let me get your name. Uh, Sean. Sean? Yeah, S H A U N. And last name. People call you guys? That was not. Yeah. Call. You know what day of the week it is, Sean? Sunday. You know what month we're in? November. What year is it? 2017. <clears throat> Who's the president? Uh, <laughs> Trump. How many quarters in a dollar? Four. Okay. You have any medical issues? Not allergic to anything? Nothing Okay, cool. Did you lose consciousness at all? No. Did he just use his hands, feet? I think just his hands, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's not here and he doesn't want to press charges anyway. It's an ongoing issue. It's just never been violent. Now it's violent. All right. And I think it may be because the, the chick that's over here is the wife. Of the other dude? Of the suspect. Oh. So it might be a, you're sleeping with my wife, but he was over here working out and 
and the guy just came down the hill and beat the crap out of him. So. Uh, I'm head over to RNS. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Sean, because you don't want to press charges, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write an informational report on this. It's going to have you, it's going to have him, and it's going to have her. Um, on what happened. Press charges. I've never been in one fight in my entire life. Never okay. Been hit. So, never. if you feel like this is an ongoing thing and it's just escalated to this, nine times out of ten, I can't even say that. Sometimes it'll escalate even worse. Like, he may put you in the hospital. Or worse. He's not right in the head, so. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a chat with her and, and find out the situation and what's going on, so. So once EMS gets here, we'll have another chat. S-T-E-P-H And who who showed up? My husband. Okay. What's your husband's name? Josh Moore. Huh? Josh Malachi. Josh is in APD, Josh. David 635 PD. Can you have a supervisor respond down here, please? Negative code. So, I'll ask you again, Sean, do you want to press charges? I mean, it's totally up to you. If you don't feel safe, if you feel like this is going to progress on some, it's going to get written up anyway. And What does that mean? Um, there's going to be a report made, and it's going to go, I take it you know who her husband is. Yeah. yeah. So, it's going to go up through the you department. You know who he is too, right? Yeah. Okay. It's going to go up through the department. And it's going to go to internal affairs because he still is an employee. But if you don't feel safe, I mean, even after this, if something else happens, call us back. Um, I'm going to give you a case and a CAD number, and you can reference it off, okay. off of that. Okay. But the decision is totally yours. No, that's fine. Okay. Um, so they're going to be here in... They'll be here by 9 o'clock, they said. Okay. Hopefully sooner, they said in 45 minutes maximum. So I'll be here to just get me in my car and then I can... Is Stephanie going to take you up to your... Uh, I'm not sure. I gotta, my buddy said he'll come pick me up okay. and, and do it. The guy that I'm... My roommate, so... Okay. My, I'm going to call him back in a second and say, Hey, can you come? Because I don't know what she's going to do. I, I just want her to be safe because he's... He's not stable, obviously. Yeah. 
And you've never had any issues with him? Not She hasn't not mentioned physical. anything to you? What do you mean, not physical? He's never hit me. No. Okay. There's been a, I mean, that time when he did his whatever, he was coming to try to find me, I'm pretty sure, so. Oh, the incident? The okay. incident, yeah. At least that's what she told me, because she called me frantic on the phone saying he just left drunk in a car and he's looking for you. I'm like, well, that's great. I wasn't living at the place I'm living now, somewhere else, but, uh. Okay. Because we've been having an affair for months now, and, uh, he knows about it, and she just lies to him that it's not happening, and it's still happening. And she okay. won't leave him because she's scared. <laughs> but I'm just a nice guy. Okay. Sure. Well, I'll give you case number and cat number yeah. on this um, okay. if anything else comes up. You can reference the case number, and I'll have all the information on it. Okay. Um, I would highly suggest you get a civil restraining order. It, it's it's really not going to be able to do much for us. All that's going to happen is if he contacts you, comes over by your house, comes over within 100 yards, that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. um, you'll call an officer, officer will write a report, you'll take it to court, and then you go before the judge. He violated my, uh, my civil restraining order by doing this. Right. And then the judge will decide what's going to happen beyond that. Yeah, so all you'll do is take the take the report, but it's it's something that's gonna protect you. I mean, it's only a piece of paper. It's not bulletproof. It's right. not fist proof. Right, right. But it's gonna semi protect you from anything that's going on. Okay. Yeah, I'll check that out. Thanks. Alrighty. I'll say. I'm also going to put that your key was lost. Either here or he may have taken it. We're sure not sure. It. So we should have been right there. Yeah. <laughs> so if <coughs> if something happens with the vehicle, reference that and they'll they'll know that the key was missing. So either somebody picked it up, picked it up from here, and figured out where your car is, or it was him. So it'll be in the report. All right. Thank you. Any questions for me, Sean? I don't think so. Okay. I'm going to hang out for a little bit until... Okay. Yeah, they going. should be here in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, hopefully. Okay, cool. Stephanie, you going to be good? Yeah. You going to be okay going home? Uh, I'll probably stay away for a little while. <laughs> okay. Go over there with my mom. We'll see. It'll be fine. Okay. Let us know if there's anything else we can do, anything else we can help with. Sure. If you have any issues, go ahead and call us back, okay? Yep. All right. I'm going to hang out for a little bit longer and then until... <clears throat> somebody comes and opens his vehicle okay. and then all I'll do is I'll keep swinging by and just kind of keep an eye on your vehicle okay yeah thanks yeah cool Yeah, I'll come by periodically until the car goes. It'll probably be, my storage is on Wantabo yeah. and Montgomery, so, so probably minutes, a, yeah. it'll be like an hour. Yeah. 
if so in fact, the key's in there, I think it should be. He said uh, with my AAA that it, it'll cover it to get a new key because I have like a gold membership or whatever. Okay. So if I need a new key, I'll have to get that done. Yeah, I would. Um, and with the key being lost and not knowing where it is, I would see about um, your car insurance changing the locks. I mean, it's going to cost a pretty penny, but yeah, it's, 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 work it's, then. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's better to be safe than sorry. And ha then have your car stolen, so. I should turn off. I'll wait till it turns off and then uh, we'll, I'll go try to get that key. Is AAA going to take you or? She's going to drive me. Okay, she's going to drive she's me. She's not going home just yet, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Alright. Thank you so Alrighty. much for everything. You're I appreciate it. Hope you have a better day. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah. Take care, thanks. thanks. Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, everything's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. You're welcome.